95% of the ocean has not been discovered. What really goes on down there that the world doesn't know? I'm Liberian and as an African growing up, I always heard stories about Mami Wata. Mami Wata, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah, are they real? Absolutely. I'm glad we're starting to ask questions away from, you know, the regular religious questions. We will address every question as we say, ask us anything. But yeah, the, the reason I made that comment is because people say planet Earth, but the planet is more water than it is Earth, right? So it should really be called the planet water because it's an Aquarian. We actually are in water now because the air you breathe is just a, a less dense version of the water. And the oceans are deep and so deep that you know, the military have like submarines that are so deep and they move underwater to the point where they can't even be detected. And there are vast civilizations that have existed for millions and millions of years underwater. We mentioned that, you know, even when you look at the extraterrestrial phenomena, a lot of these caverns, they lead in to, you know, other parts of, of, the, of the water underneath. And um, even when, when like you go into the Anunnaki stories, you have like Enki was terraforming the planet and he built a lot of under, underwater cities. And the whole mermaid, what they call mermaid, which are really sirens, are underwater. I've explained in previous videos that life evolved and started in the waters. And our ancestors were in the waters before they came out onto land. Um, the movie Aquaman goes into, you know, to some of this. So yes, you're right that there are lots of underground or underwater cities, um, lots of different, you know, Aquarian, <clears throat> excuse me, um, life forms that e exist underwater. And if you watch the series Sirens, it was on, I think it was on Netflix, they, they give you that whole, um, you know, story and some of you know, some fishers, fishermen and stuff, they actually do find, you know, come across mermaids and, and um, have documented and their videos on YouTube, etc., where some of these mermaids have come onto land and, you know, couldn't get back onto the water. You know, tsunamis, etc., throw people onto the, to the land. So, yes, you're right. And in Africa, you're right. A lot of these stories, there are people who are descendants from these beings, these underwater beings, and so those stories that people may refer to as myths or um, folklores are stories about these real events.